As an island nation, Sri Lanka is highly sensitive to changes in climate, particularly regarding rainfall. Every year in August, Sri Lanka celebrates the Asala Perahera, or the Festival of the Tooth, a ritual enacted to request the gods for seasonal rain. Farmers in Sri Lanka are highly dependent on seasonal rainfall. <laughs> First of all, Sri Lanka is a very small country. In our 65,000 square kilometers, we have different agroecological zones. You know, you go back a few years to some of the satellite maps and the, the entire country was one pixel. So there was obviously no way that we could get the kind of high resolution information to really give actionable data to people from the many different parts of the country who experience very different climatic conditions on the same day. Developing countries lack coverage of weather stations or radar systems for weather observation data. Together with satellite imagery, this data is used to create forecasts. Without reliable observational data, making accurate weather forecasts is difficult, if not impossible. For Sri Lanka, accurate forecasts are crucial to protecting weather-dependent industries such as agriculture. In 2018, the GSMA Agritech program, in collaboration with Wageningen University and the Royal Netherlands Meteorological Institute, ran a series of pilots in Nigeria, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka to test the use of commercial microwave links for rainfall monitoring in developing countries. Commercial microwave links, or CMLs, are close to the ground radio connections used in mobile networks. Radio signals are transmitted along these links from a transmitting antenna at one base station to a receiving antenna at another base station, creating a pathway. When it rains, Water absorbs and scatters these microwave signals, resulting in subtle changes to the signal strengths in the pathways between the towers. And it's exactly those microwave links, the existing infrastructure already available in many of the countries in the developing world, that allow us to create rainfall maps, which are so much needed for applications in weather forecasting, uh, in hydrological forecasting, and in agriculture. Using an algorithm, Commercial microwave link data can be analyzed and converted into highly accurate rainfall measurements, effectively turning the mobile network into a network of virtual sensing path average rain gauges. So these first results, they really look promising uh, because it shows that you can actually get a resolution which is more similar to weather radar and these weather radars are usually not in these regions. Well, rainfall estimates from microwave links have been obtained for, for several countries already. But what we really need right now is to test this methodology in, in many uh, different climates and for many different networks uh, using typically a full year of data. Correct uh, weather information will be very, very helpful for uh, farmers when they are doing the cultivation. It will be definitely complement on what we are providing right now. In 2015, with the support of the GSMA Agritech program, Dialog Sri Lanka launched Govi Mituru, a mobile-based agronomic advisory service. Govi Mituru doesn't provide localized weather information to farmers. To address the gap in available rainfall data, Dialog has co-located automated weather stations and is now piloting CML data. We already provide highly tailored advisory information to 600,000 farmers around the country. Imagine on top of that, the value add of giving them something that is again highly tailored to them on the weather for at least a short time period. It can be the difference between losing your entire crop and taking in a decent harvest for that season. 
farmers don't need the regional forecast, they need local forecasts. If you go and ask the farm what you know about weather condition today or yesterday, they know very little. In addition to weather forecasts, a number of use cases can benefit from CML data, such as short-term forecasts for early warning systems and weather index insurance, where real-time weather monitoring via CML can trigger automatic payments to farmers affected by excess rainfall. <laughs> The use of CML data can greatly strengthen the climate resilience of smallholder farmers by empowering them with the knowledge they need to optimize their crop production and prepare for extreme weather events.